So Microsoft have been very public about this. You can go find the, the videos online of their architecture. But their architecture, roughly speaking, is put an Xbox in a rack, make it a nice server form factor, and rack and stack them, as we used to say. So uh, again, because I am cursed with the knowledge of having built these things, you end up with somewhere between 40 and 80 in a rack. You consume a huge amount of power because it's the power of an Xbox and you're back at the same problem. And so in reality, xCloud doesn't do anything particularly different today to what we've already seen from Stadia or OnLive or GeForce Now. The, def the difference is, and the thing where I think Microsoft got this 100% uh, right, is they made it an adjunct. So this is part of your Game Pass subscription, which means the people that are playing it are by definition already Xbox or in the Xbox ecosystem. The requirements for them to build a massively scalable Travis Scott supporting concert platform isn't there because their users already have the hardware. And so what they get out of Xbox is a little bit of portability well, I think we can all, I mean, we've, we've all traveled immense amounts in our careers and our life. And how often do we travel somewhere and go, I wish I could carry on gaming that game I was playing at home. And it's, it becomes an occasional niche thing, not a, a sort of reason for that platform to exist. Can I demo this game without downloading it? Again, that's a 10, 15 minute problem. That is not a player game for hours at a time problem. And so what they've done is they've built enough infrastructure to support that business as an adjunct to the Game Pass subscribers.